Hi, Teresa, you're live. Yeah, I know you can't okay. see. Hi, hi, hi. We are live right now. Hello, hello. Happy, uh, what is it, Makeover Monday, fellow furniture dorks. I'm wow. Teresa with Rave Home Collection. And there's a little smidge beside me. Yep, yep. And the boss, Smidge, is headed Hi. this way. Okay, we're having some technical difficulties today, I'm not gonna lie. Typical Monday, it's cool. Hey, we didn't get the sprayers for the patina. I um, wanted both, both kinds. Uh, and I guess I need another chair, so. Um, Sue, so, Sue so will get them. Okay. So you just keep talking and we'll fix things. Okay, so. Welcome to another edition of I Have No Idea What's Going On, but this is the fun episodes for me because I'm learning yet another new thing today. We are going to experiment on one of our new Dixie Bell products, um, and we're going to experiment with our little pumpkins here. We're going to do patina painting and funkiness and some other crap. Go. Uh, so, okay, we have the blue spray, so we need the green spray, Where which we probably it? don't have on the shelf. We have to get one, You're and we need... One? The sprayers, because I don't know where the sprayers are. The, the one on the shelf will have a sprayer attached, so we're okay. cool there. And I don't know. Miss Sue, there might be a sprayer where you found the other ones for this one. Okay. Probably not because we brought that. But, oh, okay. okay. Um, so just grab two sprayers. I can't. I've attached them all to the bottle. Okay, then you're going to have to pull another blue another sprayer. Blue sprayer. Okay. okay, so sorry. We, sorry, we're good. We were trying out some new technology that was a big fat fail. Sorry. Right. Um, we were trying to be able to stream to um, Facebook, our page, and YouTube at the same time. And we were literally working up until it was like, ah, it's two o'clock. Yes. It went from being 10 till to being two, like, really In fast. Like 19 seconds. It really did. Yeah. So um, they have already base painted. Thank Teresa you, and Anna have already base painted three pumpkins. Um, these are the plastic pumpkins that, except for this one, which is paper mache, um, they are the plastic pumpkins that you saw us on last week's thrift haul. Yes. Yes, right? yes, yes. So they're just normal, you know, they're normal they're plastic right. pumpkins. Yeah. Looking cute. In Looking pretty cute. So we've done one in copper, clearly this pretty shiny one. This one is in bronze right here. And then we did iron for the paper mache dude right here right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you um basically how this goes on so do we have any regular pumpkins that aren't painted yet um we do miss sue would you mind grabbing them they're on the bottom shelf we will need three pumpkins section. yep and one of them would look just like this no we don't want that one. we don't want that one don't no, we get don't the one want that one looks like, like that, that. <laughs> you know what we need we need to have mimosa mondays that's yeah. what we need <laughs> i'm gonna tell you after the last little bit of tech h e Double hockey sticks that I've been through. Um, I could use mimosa right it, about They now. don't ever hurt. No, no. Okay. It's all good. All right, so, so these are I promise, I promise this is better than us today. I got the little ones because I'm not much. Really quick. All right, that works perfectly, Miss Sue. Thank you. you okay. Put them wherever so, them. and then you probably can just see a little bit of it. And then we have a piece that Anna did over the weekend that will be for sale. Uh, beautiful that will be for sale when we open on thursday mm -hmm. um that she used the patina on as well yep. as well as dixie bell's peacock yes right? yes yes peacock beautiful bow. color beautiful beautiful so we'll show you not only kind of how it works on these fun little pumpkins but we'll show you how it works on a piece of furniture well it's yep. already done but we can show you an effect, effect yeah. that you can yeah. have okay all right so what we're gonna do is and i think Phoebe's can help with this okay so let's give Phoebe give the. One? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Phoebe, you're just gonna paint that. <laughs> She's like, I just came here to eat lunch. Get ready. If you're sitting at the table, you're you working, girl. Home. That is your little pumpkin guy. So, does she got some gloves? She. Or does she doesn't really need gloves? I mean, I part. just did this I don't for the spray. Yeah, for this, for this you're good. So, um, Phoebe's gonna paint that one in iron. Which it's already got a coat on. It's so got you're one just doing coat. coat. So, in order to activate the spray, which we kind of have to get to pretty fast in order for you to see it by the end. Um, in order for us to activate the spray, we gotta get this going, which is why we'll base coat these others. But we wanna get this second coat on first. Um, you have to do a base coat, let it completely dry. Okay. And then you put on the second coat, and then you're gonna spray it wet. Okay. Okay. And do you do it in sec? Like, do we paint the whole thing? No, now? we're gonna paint the whole thing. Gotcha. Now. Okay. okay. And we have a blue spray and we have a green spray. Mm -hmm. So this one's blue. It looks almost black. And this one is green. Much 
So it's almost blue. Which almost looks blue. Yeah, it's very confusing, funny. right? <laughs> but it says on there in words, green it and really blue. Is. We're not lying. So don't look at the colors, okay? Yeah. This one's blue or green, and this one's blue. Okay. Okay? Okay, so you're going to go ahead and I'll do the copper one here. Alrighty. So she's going to do bronze. Yep. Phoebe's doing iron and I'm going to do copper. And does it have to be kind of a, I was told I'm, the initial coat should be like stippled almost thick. Are we doing so the same we're gonna, kind of thing? So we just want to do a nice thick coat. You can okay. paint it however you like, but it should be a nice thick, thick coat. Gotcha. And so these have um, little bits of metal in them. So this is why they have a little cup on here so it can sit on there. Yeah, I did it to dry. Um, yeah, explain this. This paint yeah so it has little chips of metal in it so when you use the patina sprays <laughs> when you use the patina sprays on it it actually will activate that metal and it will begin to um, rust it or oxidize it or whatever is typical with that kind of paint okay. and I'm going to show you both colors on both pumpkins so that you can really see what effects you can have. And kind of the thicker that you do this, the more of an effect you should get. Now, why two coats? Could you have just done it with one thick coat initially? No. I am told no. Okay. All right. Uh, These just... are the directions. Okay. I'm just... And I'm following the directions. I am learning as I go. So I've never tried it with one. I've heard that it's a big fat fail. Yeah, I think Anna said the same thing, I, you know, that you're just supposed to put a first coat on, so. And I I've also to... heard that you cannot um, enhance this by blow drying it. I imagine you could yeah. probably, with the first coat, you could probably blow dry that. But the second coat, for sure. It would screw with the. It's going to mess with the patina. Okay. So you've got to just be patient, which. Okay. You know, we're so good. Patience. What the heck is that? No, we're not. We're not. We're not particularly good. Put that in the wrong spot. How on earth, earth did you make this? It was the big side up. How on earth did you make this stand? Like that. It's um, big side up. Here, just stick it on this. Wow, I'm totally gonna need more drinks just to make the pumpkin. Um, stick it on that one. Yeah, I like that better. Just to make the pumpkin stand. All right. Okay. So this guy. Nope. Totally so... blocking Phoebes. Nope. What are you doing there? Oh, that's a pretty second coat. Ah, oh, and man down. Man down. My pumpkin is very lopsided. All right, so here we go. It's I'm a pumpkin. Try and keep mine right because there. it's a pumpkin, that's right. We'll okay, so there. what I'm going to do now, it's wet, it's on there. I have paint all over my hands because that's what we do here. And I use gloves today of all days, and now it's on my gloves. Connie's piping in with the coaching, and she's saying, yes, you definitely got to spray it on while it's wet. All righty, okay. so I'm, I'm getting ready with mine. Is yeah. that what I'm doing this color? Yeah. The green, okay. All right, I'm going in, people. I'm just watching you. But don't spray each other because the stuff could be. Oh, yeah, yeah, this. Let's do a little preface on this if you That's want. Good. Yeah. Um, so, this is stinky. We are in a big building. This will smell like ammonia. Okay, so it is very stinky. Um, let's not spray it on each other. Let's not. Let's not. Um, so, we're going to. So, I'm going to stand in this case and I'm going to spray. Oh, I've got to prime it for you. And I'm just going to. That's what I'm doing as well. Yeah. It looks blue going on. It does. And so you can use your nozzle to determine how wide it is. <laughs> you have a fan. Is yours wet too? Huh? Is yours wet too? You want to spray it? Just go straight on Just down and don't inhale. Spray it into the, the Just can of paint. Spray it on here and let it go down. Watch that can of open paint. We don't want to start off the idea that can do it. You can use it with that color still. So we just kind of did around the top to let it ooze down? Okay. Yep. What do you think? You got it? We can do more, a little more. Yeah. Just kind of more. take it all around She doesn't want to. Beams doesn't want to be on camera. You, you don't have to be on camera if yeah. you want to. Ooh, but how cool does that blue look with that ash? You just happened to be sitting there when it all started, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to trade. All right. Switch. Switch. You can put it on your TikTok. And Here we go. Uh. And we're going to add a little bit. I'm just going to kind of do mine. Kind of you know mine. what it smells like? It doesn't smell like ammonia to me. It smells like when you color Easter eggs. It smells like vinegar to me. Vinegar. Okay. Vinegar. There you Which go. Which is not a toxic smell. Vinegar just, is an oxidation. It's not necessarily okay, pleasant. So I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, mine is woozy woozy. Oh, yeah. That's a different color. Here. I don't hit peeps. Okay. So. All right. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and let these just sit okay. while we continue. But you can already see on mine, that's a little bit bigger and closer, that it's starting to change colors already. So which it's, is it's very cool. With it's already the... reacting. Patina paint, okay. Right? I'm just trying to get this straight in my so, head. So here, hand me a pumpkin. And now we're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna get these started so that by the time we're done with these, and our, you know, never ending conversation. You know, you wanna do another one? You got it, girlfriend. And we're each gonna paint one the base coat on these. Okay, everybody's got their brushes. All right. The more spray, the more patina, according to color. Right. Okay. Let me set this for you guys. Um, see and by the way, for anybody, for anybody who's watching that hasn't joined, um, that has not subscribed to our YouTube page, we currently have 400 and 96 Ooh. followers not we would subscribers. what it's subscribers well. not followers apparently it's not followers oh it's sorry subscribers we now YouTube. have 496 subscribers Look, sorry we have, a lot of people watching. we have 496 subscribers and we could really use at least four more at least if not five or six come on people hit that subscribe button do it do it so uh i did post the link for the upholstery that I did on those gorgeous um, painted chairs that I did with the Bungalow 47. Um, with the wash and the... With the wash and all of that, you've kind of seen a little TikTok probably that I posted before. Mm -hmm. um, I posted the full video on there. It's only like eight minutes. So you can see that whole process from start to finish. I posted that this morning, I think, or last night. I think I did see it last night, actually. And, um, and so you can go from there, or you could just go to YouTube, for, dot com forward slash rave home staging. Okay. It's not rave home collection, it's rave home staging. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Oh, mine's almost looking all. I was gonna say, do you want me to swing this around so we can get a little bit Funky. of a closer up? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be great. It's it's hard to it's hard to describe. That's super cool. Alright, so there's one code. And for anybody this. who's interested, we are definitely making t-shirts. Gra uh, graphic design t-shirts that say funky gold patina. Yes, mate. Yes. And I'm just wax waxing chickens here, man. <laughs> that could be the most amazing thing I've ever heard. <laughs> James, I posted that to, I posted that TikTok on the creative coaching group that the I Jimmy have Ray with Jimmy Ray Vintage. And she said she would buy one. She loves I'm just waxing chickens, man. That's awesome. She's like, it'll be totally private joke for people because... That's freaking you know, awesome. Oh, and when you didn't get, when that person read your username and thought it said Raven's Home, it's a show. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. How are you doing? Can everybody see all the all the you changing in the colors? Yours too. Isn't that cool? Zoom in. Look that looks, it. I like how it's interacting with the copper. I might have sprayed a little too much, which I don't care. No, it's not kind of great. So Is that how it's you supposed to be? You can see the green on top. It's starting to change. Oh, you can see it definitely good with the light like that. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, that's neat. And how cool would these be to sit out like yeah. funky and things so you for you can fall. see I've got the blue on the top and then I've got the green below. Okay. And she kind of has the opposite of that effect. Oh, it really looks cool in the light. You can see that. Yay. Yours is looking funky. I'm going to bring, let's bring this Phoebe's over so we can show this one too. Yeah. Oh, the oh, blues. Cool. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Very cool. Sweet. All right, I'm going to set that So now imagine there. a whole display of these, right? Yeah, that's just a neat idea. And it's not, it's not the normal orange pumpkin. It's kind right. of a updated funky gold medina version if you will funky cold patina or patina dang it i have to get that right so um this is anna's piece oh, um it's really beautiful job. really stunning. beautiful so let me come in here and take a look at it so she painted this dixie bell's peacock and then she did it looks like the copper and then she did both sprays she, I believe, so, did. how beautiful. And she got some dripping, some just nice distress. And I really shirt. love, like, the lime deposits from the patina on the hardware. I think that's super mm -hmm. cool. And this piece is just dainty enough where it's a cool accent piece. It's yeah. not over the top on a buffet or anything. Although, honestly, it would be kind of See cool. this beautiful drippiness that she's got here? It's really fabulous. Having a hard time getting it right on the camera, but I like it. The legs of the tripod are in my way. Yay! So you so, could do these with figurines. You could do this with anything, right? Like how to get a grouping of anything together, just to kind of make it look cool. 
Right? Like chickens. Like man, like chickens. Like chickens, man. <laughs> like chickens, man. Like chickens, man. <laughs> Just wax them chickens. Just wax them chickens. That's hysterical. I'm gonna so, need, like, and you actually can use this on um, metal, but you do need, can you just, just smudge this way? Is there um, a certain paint for um, the metal? You do need, uh, there is a, a metal primer, and you need that to, to put on before you use these, or else the activation will actually eat through the metal. Hmm, we don't want that, okay. We probably don't want that. Okay. And so you do need, we have that here, so okay. you'll need the primer as well. But, Look at this. But it's I mean, just so this is actually going to take about 24 hours okay. to really do the whole thing. But oh, that's one. This one is her painted. first one. This first is her one. second one. Yeah. Yeah. So, and if you want more than this, you can always go back and add, like, you could go back and add some iron and add a little more spray. It doesn't have to all be a solid thing. So, um, I've done pieces where they've been multiple colors and multiple sprays. Do you need to seal this at all or no? Yes, when it's okay. done, so after 24 hours, you'll want to add a top coat to it. And we would recommend Gator Hide. Okay. This, Dixie Belle's Gator Hide. Okay, sounds so good. Connie, Connie was saying that the patina top coat sucks. So is there a patina top coat? There is, and it's interesting because they didn't actually include that in our premier merchandising package, which they, we got hmm. one of just about everything, but not that. Hmm. interestingly enough yeah but I've seen most of the other people on YouTube that have used this that I've seen that they actually are using um, gator hide afterwards now I have a little smudge right here that I don't like where apparently you know in my attempt to uh, to rescue my pumpkin because just did a little you know because I kind of knocked it over a couple did a little smooth times I don't know if anybody noticed that I didn't oh, I'm too busy no. Ooh, I'm still look at this I'm just doing upside so down and sideways have, to get more drip let me have the, the the blue the green the green or let me yeah see. that one this one is green even though it's blue even though it's blue and this one's blue even though it's white yeah. okay so i'm just gonna like i just added a little more and, and by doing this i should theoretically get a little bit more of that green on top so it'll be it'll be kind of layered in there um and as long as those are still wet you should be able to reactivate them okay um, and I mean, we're just at this moment kind of sitting here waiting for our pumpkins to dry, yeah, watching paint dry. Um, we could probably force dry them and see if it works. I don't know because we could always just repaint them if it doesn't work. Um, but you could also paint these, um, bright colors kind of like, like Anna did here and just use these as accents, kind of stipple okay. on some rusty areas and then spray it. It doesn't have to be I was all drippy like this, although I do love this. And, fantastic. and you can't, like Anna said, that she used a decent amount on a piece of furniture. So maybe if you want the accent and not the full on, it would be better to do maybe a, a color coat. And then like you said, just do like a stippling and then the spray just yeah. over a piece. So I did a headboard where I just did like around the head. I did, I painted it a base color. I used some stamps to kind of create a toile look. And then I did around the edge with iron and copper. Um, first I did iron, mm -hmm. then I did copper over it, Ooh. and then the second coats, and then so it was rusty and blue and super drippy all down the front of it. Mm -hmm. um, my goal was it was going into a beach house that I knew would be an Airbnb, and my goal was to make it look like it was something that was maybe found, you know, out at the beach yeah. or, yeah. you know, that had been sitting outside and dripping That's and awesome. running and rusted. Yeah. Like it had been a metal headboard painted, yeah, and um, and that rust was Very dripping cool. everywhere, and it, it came out really cool, and it actually sold with the house with the Airbnb. Really? Oh, I love when that. when the Airbnb sold, so that was that was a lot of fun. But I also have like concrete cherubs mm -hmm. and ceramic cherubs that I have painted. That's what I'm thinking. That look like they're then iron or um, or copper statues mm -hmm. that have patinaed over time and the trick to that is to drizzle it in ways that you know kind of spray it over and drizzle it in ways that would be like rain dropping on it okay. over time okay. over time so it has to come from above not from the side okay right because okay. that's how that's what that's I'm how, it'd be, how it'd be hit yeah with actual rain coming with the down. actual rain coming yeah right and so that's that's a lot of fun um i just love groupings like this like this would just make a bunch of different sets you can do little yeah and shelf sitters like, and i don't I, I mean i do bring in orange during the holidays but i like to bring in like the burnt umber yeah and so the the plasticky pumpkins to me feel cheap 
They do. They feel dollar store ish. They nothing, do. Nothing wrong with a good dollar store, but no. But I, I want something that, that feels a little more luxurious. Right. And these are amazing ways to do it. But yeah. you can you can go to the dollar store and get plastic pumpkins mm -hmm. or like these that were thrift store for like two bucks and turn them into something that's going to look really expensive. I'm going to end up painting this. Um, I don't know what do you call these? The stem. The stem. Yeah, the stem. Mm -hmm. I'm going to paint these a dark brown and then I'm going to use a white glaze or. Um, Kind of, and then maybe a little antiquing wax to get the white on there. How pumpkins always have that white, mm -hmm. and then um, and then I'll probably actually use a toothbrush and some black paint mm -hmm. and flick brown Just and black of... spots all over them to get them a good. Because you know how pumpkins they're very they're very rarely they're not pristine. uniform. They're not they're uniform. Not... Mm -hmm. um, and and the more we do that, I'm looking at this pumpkin that it just it's really hard to see. I'm sure. But it just got some spray. This is the first coat. It just got some spray, and it actually does have a little bit of patina. It's just cool. Moving on it. See, I like I like the non traditional look. Like I would set blue pumpkins out, or green, or purple. I just like that color. I'm sorry. One second. Let's just see what's going on over here. What's What's happening? You think so? <laughs> no. That looks like you. She's like a teacher getting in trouble for having her phone or something. I don't know what's happening. How's Phoebe's pumpkin doing? Did we, did we squirt it enough? This, well, this was her first, wait, this is the second one. Yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? You take a look and see. I feel like the iron isn't rusting the way I Maybe we do it. a little extra spray and we some extra spray. spray. Let's throw a little more paint on and maybe a little extra spray. Oh, I'm starting to see it down a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but I do see throw some of it. a little bit more paint on that one, you think? Just, just, just a little just bit. Just kind of like a little bit all over, yeah, and then we'll give you a spray and see what happens. I love this one with the blue. Oh, and you can see the green now. Yeah. Ooh. Especially like over here. God, I hope I don't. Oh, you can see green on yours too there. Especially where like I went over and repainted it because, you know, I touched it. Because she smidged it, smudged it. I smudged it. it. I smudged it. And then you could even go back in and... and um, I'm just not noticing all these extra colors. I know. They're, they, and they, they'll continue to develop overnight, but... You could even go in and then do a little sanding afterwards. I was going to ask you about that if you could, just to either smooth it or blend it or distress. Yeah, or... and the rust will actually get, like, it'll have that powdery rust. But if you feel like you don't get enough of the powdery rust, here is a, um, a designer tip. Is you go back in with a little bit of top coat where it's really rusty and you want... It's got the rust color, but maybe it doesn't have that rust texture that you want. Okay. You go back over that with a top coat and then sprinkle cinnamon what? over it or a dusted brush. Just to make a brush dirty. And add the cinnamon to it and it will add that, you know, when you when you touch rust and it gets that, yeah, that like you, you touch it and you get the rust all over your fingers, mm -hmm. um, you can achieve that where it's wet by at, at wet it out in those areas mm -hmm. to kind of stipple little sections and actually add cinnamon and it smells good and it smells good it'll smell good <laughs> awesome so, yeah not cinnamon sugar because that'll that'll let ants come yeah we don't just, want that just straight up cinnamon a uh, ground cinnamon and uh you can you can add a lot of texture that way too i'm falling in love with these like you i'm you can see the colors like changing before your eyes i can't wait to see these in the morning when they're when they've set right no absolutely they're a lot of fun um, this, this is, is kind of fun. this is we were slightly late and now it's only a half past so I don't know how much longer we'll stay on here and just chat your ear off talk about yeah I mean I don't know what are you guys you up to patina something else I was gonna say yeah what else can we patina I don't know I is like, there hey like, where's that patina? pink candlestick oh, you want to hear here do this do this do where's this. that crazy candlestick do you want to do this oh one? yeah do this one. do this here let's do this The candlestick is on, the pink candlestick is on the shelf back there, Miss Sue. That'll be a good one. Don't forget to remove. And let's try to prayer. let's try to force force dry the first coat. Are we, of the new ones? Of the new Are ones. we? Right. Not the second coat. Yeah, yeah. Just, just the ones the that we just first did. Coat. All right, well then we need the hot gun. So I'm gonna base paint this all copper and add a little bit of iron painting. Why don't you do that one bronze? So this candlestick that Phoebe's got, 
you might remember from a live a few weeks ago where we'd even, we'd even um, done a, uh, a primer on it, but it had rust underneath and it just, no matter what we did, it kind of was rusting through. And it got more and more pink. And it got more and more, more and more pink as time so went on. Funny. Um, and so we decided we were not going to even fight it anymore. Nope. We were just going to go ahead and wait and we would do a patina. All right, I'm going to try a dry method on this first coat. Just the first coat, not the second. All right. One. that I wanted to give today, so thank you, Connie, for reminding me, is when you're using these, because the squirter bottle has metal in it, if you do not rinse out your squirt bottle, it will rust because it has metal mm -hmm. in it, and we're point. basically putting a metal activator yeah, on it. that's a very good point. So, um, did you steal my, you stole my stuff, didn't you? Maybe you did. My this. Right there. Right Wait, there. is that me? That was bronze? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Phoebe Lou. I mean, I told her she could. It's all right. I'm going to grab I'm gonna ruin the brush. And it's probably the best idea to use chip brushes with this paint. Yeah, think? I think so. Okay. All right, grab one. I mean, you, theoretically, they should wash fine. I guess as long as you wash it out. I'm just adding, like, kind of heavy stippling on top of these finials with the iron. I'm sharing with you, girl. All right, so I'm gonna second coat this, and while it's wet, do some spraying. Let's try it again. Oh, it is. I think it's raining still. Yeah, definitely it's raining outside. It's nap time. Here, can you can you throw that under the table to me? Oh, yep. because Phoebe's can. here, and we want to swim. Yeah, Phoebe's Phoebe's gonna do some night swimming at our house today. All right. Coming your way. <laughs>
course, I don't like, know anything about that. So, yeah, the blue is for bronze and copper, and the green is for bronze, copper, and iron. So, um, this one will give you reaction in, in all of the colors, and the blue will only really activate in the bronze and copper. So, if we do a lot of blue oh, on hers, okay. then um, we're not going to get a lot of activation because she's using the iron. I gotcha. Right? Okay. Um, so, we really need to do more green on hers. Okay, well, let's put a little more on there. Just got a little spray bottle crazy. Which one of these do you want? Oh, is that the only two patina spray? Oh, I just patina sprayed my face. Is there paint on me? Yeah, that might not be the best yeah. one. There is. <laughs> Thanks. There Thanks is. for letting me know. Well, if I wipe it, I'm have... spraying on my first coat. That's wrong. Help me. I'm thinking. Why are you doing this? I don't know. Is it off now? I was just getting all excited because she was talking about spray. That stuff is hard to get. I just off. make it worse. It oh, great. Yeah. How about now? Wait, let it oxidize and let's see what color you No, wait, oh my god, am I gonna turn into the Tin Man or something now that it's on my face? <laughs> so this was my first coat, and this is actually where it just was sitting next to the other pumpkin when oh, I was neat. spraying that's it. So it was happy accident. It will, it will pick up a little bit. <laughs> oh, very cool. Oh, man down. All right, back up. I got him. We're good, we're good. Okay. See, if I didn't have gloves on, this is what my whole face and stuff would look like. Oh, oh, I smell pickles. <laughs> <laughs> you smell pickles or you smell like pickles? I smell like pickles and I smell like I'm a thriller. <laughs> cool. All right, wait, I'm gonna do something. Well, you wanna try and paint that tray? The metal? Oh, with I the think... patina with the prime start. The prime start. With the who what? Right next to Melissa. Is that okay to do, Melissa? Yeah. Alright. Yes, I do. I want to wipe that thing down. It's a little dust. Yeah. Alright. I wonder if I'm better off taking these dang gloves off. I don't know. Let's see. It's a patina party. It's a patina party. Okay. Now, what is for use on? Oh, this is the metal. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And you want to use that to keep it from actually rusting through the metal. Okay. Right? Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So I need another. Got music in her head. <laughs> Alright, going for another chip. I got the music in me. That's a real song, I swear. It is. Maybe not the way I sing it in particular, but. Alright. Oh, shoot, I need a stick. There's a switch I need to go Give the lady a stick. Alright. What's that looking like over there, Melissa? I have no idea. <laughs> That's the way we like it. Do we need to dry the candlestick? What are we doing? You want to yeah, try? Yeah, we're and... gonna need to dry the candlestick. All right, All right. I'll, I'll come back over that way. All right, Miss Sue, you can be the dryer assistant. Dryer assistant. That's a thing. Dryer Jason. Dryer Jason. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm And we've actually decided that we're going to do this on the floor in Sue's bathroom. So prepare for that. That should be interesting. Ooh. You just gave an on. You gave on it an idea. <laughs> I just saw the bells go off. <laughs> All right, move this Okay, I don't know if you can see. Really you probably can't see it, but <laughs> right here. Are you anywhere near me? There we go. Right in here, you can almost immediately see the rust dripping down. That's cool. Okay, I know what this smells like now. It smells like when you go to get a perm. Like a you perm did, like solution. in the eighth grade. That's there you go. Which it's is ammonia. It's ammonia. But again, not really. That's what it smells like. Oh, metal does not dry fast. It does or does not? Does not. It does not. Well, because you're just heating that metal. Think that would oh, possibly dry. Of you think that would make it dry faster. You see it at the base here too, puddling up, getting rusty at the bottom. 
Huh? They can't see the bottom. They can't see the bottom. Before you make it. Oh. Getting all, all crusty and rusty down there. Crusty and rusty. Ooh. It's a little tacky up there. Who are you calling tacky? Tacky. How rude. Rude. And I made sure on that finial that I made it. Throw some more on there. Super crunchy, if you will. Just nice and thick and crunchy. So that it had a lot of texture, too. Nice. I'm just going to keep misting hers until. I mean, it's really a matter of preference, right? You just kind of yeah. keep adding to it if you want. Yeah, so like I've got. Oh, it's just getting bluer and bluer. I've got way more mm -hmm. on some sides than other sides, so I could go back on it if I wanted to, and I could add, add a little bit different. As long as I've already got that base coat going, you know, I can, I can just keep adding texture to it. Cool. All right, so is my process the same with the metal? I can really just do the one coat and then you'd have to wait for it to dry and then the second and then spray? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So now here where I added the iron and the blue, what I should get here is a little bit of rust on my pumpkin. Where I didn't have any rust on my pumpkin. And if I wanted to, I could spritz that in different areas too okay. and, and just add a little bit of rust but since this is kind of a lighter area where i didn't get much to it i think that'll be a fun i might just throw a little copper now one thing i would say to be careful of if you're going to layer like this is try not to get the solution on your brush and then stick it in your jar because you could theoretically activate Oh, an entire in your, jar. In an entire jar, right? Which would oh not gosh, be the goal true. that you're no, that you're shooting for. Don't want to do that. All right. What are y'all thinking of this process? Is it I'm something you want to try? Trying to read the side. All right. I love yours now. It's this bronze is super fun. Mm -hmm. It's gotten really dark since it's dried. And yeah. that blue to green is just real fun. Yeah, it's, it's almost like algae or something or fungus on the top. Like it yeah. just ages it like that. It's really fun. And actually your stem almost looks perfect now. The coloring. The coloring mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What are you thinking? Oh, look at how, see that's that so cover is yeah, awesome. Nice. And it's not pink anymore. I'm or telling you that color. thing, we had two coats of regular paint, two coats of Wise Owl primer, which will prime anything. And that thing got even more pink. Even more pink. It was, it was, it, it was, was crazy. Terrible. What color were you starting out with on that? That was one of the whites, wasn't it? Yeah, it was one of the whites. <laughs> it was nuts. Nice. Just a little bit of rust. And I've never seen rust do it. I mean, I've seen it where it looks brown or kind of orange. That thing looked oh. pink, pink. Hot pink. Yeah. All right, what color patina does, does Phoebe need? Phoebe uh, has mine, so she could do either blue or green. All right, what color do you want, Phoebe? Oh, okay. let's get that little brush thing off of there. Yeah. Or you can use both. Either. Sure could. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dare I try to Wait, dry this as it is? I'm going to try and dry it first with the first coat. You just remember nice which metal will be hot. Yeah. Oh, well, that's true. I'll right, milk the gloves back. onto it. <laughs> Excuse me, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Careful where you grab it. I was going to say, I, I still, because you don't want to scar like that. I still have that. Oh, and all the paint specks. I've got every. Try to paint your scars. All right, I might as well. Right. And if you don't like the drippy running book, you can also put this on like a sponge applicator and stipple it on. But I personally love the drippy look. Personally. I'm going to show off this. Again, we've been watching paint dry so much fun. <laughs> no. That's a t-shirt we should make up too. Something about paint we dry. We make paint, oh, we make watching paint dry fun. Yeah. <laughs> look how cool it looks. I'm trying to make that just a little bit. It's just fun, and each piece will be unique in its, you know, its own special ways. And whether you have the sprayer up high or low, and how much of each one you use will make a difference in your pumpkin.
And this one is super drippy. Oh, that looks cool. And can you see the great rust that's happening here from the iron? Oh, it's down at the bottom especially. I don't know if I can get you there. Can I get you there? Look at all the age everywhere. It's so cool. Oh, man. I just it looks really cool. Leaf that up. We are going to have a little bit of a mess to clean up afterwards, but... It's going to look so cool when it's done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you should have done the Florida leaf. Oh, yeah. That's the one over there. I mean, I didn't know what she... I think you did say you wanted to do something like that with it. That's why I didn't touch it. I'm saving all this stuff for today. Right. It's too low. I want to see what it looks like with the metal. Yeah, rust is one of my favorites, too. Who doesn't love a good rust? Right? I mean, come Seriously. on. All right, I'm going to finish this. And I'm that's gonna... awesome. It'll be fine when it's dry. Look, it's already turning blue. It is. That's bottom. cool. Who to funk? All it needed was a little rusty love. A little rusty love. It was already rust. It just needed more rust. It needed more. All right, I'm about to spray this. This is my second coat on metal. I'm curious to see what this looks like. What? Oh, um, just get a paper towel and wipe right. it off. So what color do we think works better with um, with the prime starter? Primer starter, sorry, honey. Uh, I don't think it matters for all of the metals. All right, and let's just go blue. That one is spitting out. Oh, don't know what's happening. You can turn the nozzle. Oh, I'm just, I, I kind of like that. I'm just gonna sort of zhuzh it around. <laughs> just, that's not actually the proper, the proper. Look, lady, I'm armed the with blue stuff. <laughs> not we looked it up. It. <laughs> no, it's to enhance or some other crap. It's a real word. It is a word. It is a real word. Same. Yes, Miss Anna, it's a real word. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> I tried to. How did you look it up? I think John did. John looked it up. Z something. Right. Yeah, there was a Z somewhere in it. But it's an actual word. It's a phrase. It means to enhance or foof. No, that's not what it means. I don't but think it means to foof. <laughs> I mean, it could be wrong. Would you get hold the metal up? Hold which one? This. So this. I don't know. This is kind of pooling. I'm just sort of trying to maybe lay it on its side. Let it drip a little. This is kind of. Can I see it through the? We'll just let that drip. Keep turning it a little bit, I guess. We'll see what happens with that. Oh, this is a fun mess to make, that's for sure. all over the place. We should have put your puppy pads down. Right? right? should have put bibs on us and I've got... Okay, you go, girl. Whatever you want to do. Make sure it doesn't get in this paint. Yeah, I was going to say, close up the paint. Yep, that way you don't want to activate it in there. Then we'll have a whole situation happening. There we go. And then we need to get one of Jamie Ray's situation hats. Don't need that. Although that would be fun. I guess I could probably paint the bottom of this. Did you spray? No, man, the world is evil. Some of the world is, Miss Sue, but not us. Okay, I'm feeling a spray. Oh, God, that's going to, you know what's going to happen? It's going to accidentally get on the paint on my face and I'm going to oxidize. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Spray wars. <laughs> like, seriously. Spray wars. <laughs> that what are y'all thinking of this like i love it i think it's i love this like i yeah, just absolutely. like that is just awesome i mean the pumpkins look metal almost like it's just yeah they don't look plastic anymore mm -mm. not at all well, so wait till, wait till tomorrow yeah I can't oh yeah to tomorrow these. they'll be really awesome but like on this on this video yeah. it's just gorgeous look at that it's, gorgeous. Yeah. it's gonna look like it sat out in the rain and Sleet and sun for that's, years that's exactly and years. That's what I'm looking for when mm -hmm. I finish off my side tables. Yeah. There you go. Look how, I mean, it's going to be super cool tomorrow, but yeah. look how cool that looks now. It's going to be a great piece to display on a shelf or on a console or someplace. I like it. I think we accidentally um, patinaed our paint table, too. Yeah. I'm just going to take yeah. some of the. Okay. the Why not? It's looking good. Who knows what will happen with that? That's the maybe fun of it. Maybe something, maybe nothing. Who knows? Who the heck knows? But you know what? It's fun. Oh, Phoebe, look at your candlestick. That 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's the best idea for that because it's a metal piece anyway. That's really cool. Next was our pink candlestick. Can I just get more paint on me? Oh, you got it on you too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, I don't think we have anything else to do. I don't know, unless we patina me, but I'm really not We prepared. are. We're in the process. Oh, I mean, I'm halfway there. Here, you can see where mine's starting to rust now on this one little section. Very, very cool. It'll just be different from the rest of it. So with these, we let them sit 24 hours. We will go through then and maybe sand if we want. Just give yep. them a final zhuzh and then top coat. And then could yep. you wax them instead? Or um, I would think you'd want to top coat them and you could still wax them if you wanted okay. to add like antiquing wax or something over that okay that could still be cool okay All right, so we'll good. let this go and see what happens we will of course share a post tomorrow to let you know the how it turns and out afters. Yeah. And, afters. Yep, thanks. and we as usual thank you all for watching we appreciate your support very very much and um thank you for you know overlooking our technical difficulties at yes. the beginning you know we've okay. actually kind of got it's a monday together. thing so Wednesday will be our next live, our Thrift Hall Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. And we love you guys so much. Bye. Thank Peace you. Out. Bye. Baby,